Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to download and install Wireshark on a Windows computer. Wireshark is an essential tool for network analysis and troubleshooting. And by the end of this tutorial, you'll be ready to dive into your network packets like a pro. Let's get started. Before we dive into the installation process, let's quickly talk about what Wireshark is. Wireshark is a free and open source packet analyzer used for network troubleshooting, analysis, and development. It's widely used by network professionals and security experts to capture and interactively browse the traffic running on a computer network. Now that you know what Wireshark is, let's move on to the installation process first. Open your web browser and go to the official Wireshark website. On the download page, you'll see several options for different operating systems. Since we're installing Wireshark on Windows, click on the Windows Installer link under the Stable Release section. There is only the 64-bit version. If you have an older 32-bit computer, you can download an older version of Wireshark. The installer file will start downloading. This may take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Once the download is complete, locate the installer file in your downloads folder or just click on Open File. The Wireshark Setup Wizard will open. Click Next to continue. Read through the license agreement. And if you agree with the terms, click on Noted. If you want you can make a donation towards the development of just click on the link. The next screen allows you to choose which components to install. It's recommended to leave the default selections as they are but if you want to install the other components and want further information on them just click on them and a small explanation on what they do will show at the bottom. Next, you'll see the additional tasks window. This window allows you to create shortcuts on your device and associate trace file extensions with Wireshark compatible extensions after the installation. Now, you'll move to the Choose Install Location window. Here, you can select the directory where Wireshark will be installed. By default, it will install in the Program Files folder on your operating system drive. If you prefer a different location, click Browse to select a new directory, then click Next to continue. The installer will ask if you want to install in PCAP, a packet capture driver that Wireshark uses. Make sure install in PCAP is selected and click Next. Now, the USB capture window opens. USB PCAP is required if you want to capture USB traffic. You can choose whether to install it or not. If you want to install it, check the box next to install USB PCAP. Otherwise, leave it unchecked and click Install to continue. Note that this is an experimental feature and is not generally recommended. The installer will now install Wireshark in NPCAP. This might take a few minutes, so be patient. The first option enhances security by restricting access to admin users, ensuring that only authorized individuals can use the program. The second is necessary to receive Wi-Fi packages. If you receive Wi-Fi packets and the network card does not support monitoring mode, you need to install it. Enabling this option allows NPCAP to capture and analyze RAW 802.11 wireless traffic making it essential for monitoring wireless networks. If you need to work with wireless networks, be sure to select this option. Install NPCAP in WinPCAP API compatible mode. Selecting this option allows NPCAP to work with applications designed to use the deprecated WinPCAP API. NPCAP offers improved functionality and compatibility with modern Windows systems. Enabling this option ensures that software relying on the WinPCAP API remains compatible. Now just wait for the installation to complete. Once the installation is complete, you'll see a screen confirming that Wireshark has been successfully installed. Click Next, and then click Finish to close the setup wizard. Congratulations! You have successfully installed Wireshark on your Windows computer. When you open Wireshark for the first time, you'll see the main window where you can start capturing packets. To start capturing network traffic, select the specific network interface, such as Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Then, go to the Capture tab and choose Options.
Now, packets captured from the selected network are displayed in different colors. Color coding is used to highlight different packets based on specific factors, helping users quickly identify packets by their colors. For example, UDP packets are shown in light blue, ICMP packets in light pink, TCP traffic in purple, and error packets in black. Wireshark uses 20 different colors by default to indicate various parameters. Users can customize these colors in the settings as needed. To disable color coding, simply turn off the Colorize Packet List option. To view all default color options, click on the View tab, then select Coloring Rules. This will open the Coloring Rules window in Wireshark. And that's it. You've successfully downloaded and installed Wireshark on your Windows computer. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and tech tips. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.